Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and in today's video, I just have nothing to talk about. I mean, there's things I could be talking about, like the WoW 13th anniversary and the world bosses, or giving a bit of a few ideas about the PvP changes and maybe showcasing you guys some PvP content, world PvP in particular, that happened recently, which I'm kind of happy with, but I guess I'm on the happier side, I guess, if you had to choose one of the two. Then there's also the bonuses, the 4-piece and 2-piece bonuses that apparently get removed in the expansion. And there's a lot of stuff I could talk about, but because I have absolutely nothing to talk about, let's talk about the channel. And the reason I want to talk about the channel just for a little bit is about the live streaming portion. If you were paying attention to any of my recent videos that came out recently, you would know that YouTube recently restricted my ability to live stream. And this sucks because this honestly... At first, live streaming has just been something I would casually do for two hours and I didn't take it seriously. But the more people show up and the more I want to take it seriously, and the more I started taking it seriously, it was a bigger, bigger empty gap in, I guess, my soul once it was disabled. It's like, imagine having a relationship with somebody you're really close to. For me, it will be everybody who hangs out in the stream. And then once it gets disabled, it almost feels like you lost all those people. Um, so that's the kind of experience that I went through with it, because it actually meant a lot for me. I'm not somebody who had like thousands and thousands of viewers, but, you know, everybody got their own milestones. I honestly thought I won the YouTube game once I hit 200 subs. So honestly, the amount of viewers and the numbers are not too, I guess, interesting for me. But being able to reach a wider audience is what interests me. So I guess numbers do mean something, but they mean a totally different thing. When I'm able to live stream on YouTube, the convenience of the viewer to be able to just watch a YouTube video and then swap over to a live stream, which is just right then and there in the subscription feed, makes it that much easier to reach the audience, especially the audience of people that watch my videos. I'm able to connect with you guys a lot easier and a lot far better. I'm able to attract a lot more of you and I can use the streams as well as the YouTube videos to grow the channel altogether. With YouTube shutting down my ability to live stream, it shuts down the most convenient way for me to go live streaming, which is YouTube. So this also means that the whole sponsors, it just nullifies it because the sponsors and people sponsoring the stream don't, will not be able to get to use their emos that we were finally able to reach five of them or so on the live streams because we simply won't have them for three months because we watched a video with a pizza or a guy in pizza for about five minutes and I already made a video where I talked about how it's my fault and then just disappointment that I feel about it but I kind of want to move on from there already I already have my timing of grief you know trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and I think I want to take the streaming seriously I think I still want to maintain my channel with two videos a day that is something that I tried not doing I tried one video a day and just didn't feel right the two video a day schedule I feel like keeps me on my toes, keeps me on track and keeps me trying as hard as I can to come up with as much content as possible, to come up with a variety of content, to try better my editing, to try and make the editing style where I can get a lot done for the quality but still be able to mass produce videos, which is something that I, I guess love about my channel because not everybody can do this. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this successfully but I am trucking, <laughs> improving uh, hopefully. Um, about the live streaming part, I really do need you guys' support in this, though. If I am going to be streaming on Twitch, which I guess is going to be the choice platform for me, I need a lot more of you guys to uh, support me here. And this is more like, it's a request. Because when I have a lot of you guys coming onto YouTube, it's a lot easier for a lot of you to just swap over to YouTube and hang out. It's a lot easier to communicate and reach a lot of you guys, because it's just so convenient. It's just oh, everything is happening on the same website the videos and the streams. You already have an account, so you can just pop in and bam, you're part of the stream, you're part of the experience, and it helps me grow as a channel. But with me being limited to Twitch as a streaming platform, I, it's really difficult to make the live streaming work, and it's difficult for me to get various feedback from you guys when I don't have as many of you participating. And there's definitely a good chunk of you guys that are very committed and you have no problem going over to Twitch as soon as I go live. But the more people can show up, the better. For example, this is important that the viewers have and are there. Because for example, 5-5-1-1s. These 5-5-1-1 rules do not happen without the participation from the live stream. Both EU audiences and US audiences. It simply doesn't happen. So 
with Firefly 101 being one of my favorite types of videos to make as of recent, I really got to grow and enjoy them. And the duels are a ton of fun to do, even though it was just towards the end of Legion, nothing new PvP wise is happening. There's still a ton of fun to do. And it makes me super happy to be able to host them and have so many people participate and so many people go for the 1v5 moments and epic comebacks and such. It's just a joy. And again, without viewers, I can't really get this done. So I need basically a lot more people to participate on Twitch. And I know not a lot of people would rather go sign up, make an account or whatever for another website just to watch a live stream. I understood just how much people don't want to do that when I originally started streaming on YouTube after streaming on Twitch for however long. It's just you to reach the people that you view your videos, it's so much easier when it's all on the same platform. But YouTube isn't allowing me to do that. And they won't allow me for the next two months unless um something goes right. Um and it might. Well then maybe next week, <laughs> maybe never. Uh and to have you guys support, to actually have people show up to the stream, even if you can show up for like five minutes and just let me know on the quality, the audio, the video how it's looking um or even just to watch the whole stream it would be a very very helpful for me and the reason i'm asking you guys is because i'm really serious about the streaming i really want to make something of it i really wanted to go back to the i guess the professionalism that i tried to bring it um back to the uh, original um i guess uh vibes that i had for the last this week of streaming as i've been trying to take it a lot more serious almost like a profession um, and I like going and try hard at certain things, like streaming for example, and then seeing just how well I can do with it. So this is just my message from me to you. Uh, hopefully you guys will consider making an account on Twitch and follow me on Twitch. And of course I'll always be posting a video and trying to promote Twitch channel pretty hard, pretty vigorously in Discord and on YouTube. So if you get annoyed by that, I apologize, but I'm very, very interested in trying to make this work and trying to get this work right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I have you guys support. And I'll see all of you in the next video.